Shorty was a thotty Got off in the mind Came in the squad like I hit a lottery Yo, what is up guys? We are back with part two of what if Naruto was Kuroko's reincarnation. Now, I'm uh, kinda, I just made a live stream and I was like, uh, damn, I really should make a video. You know, since I didn't make a video yesterday, I have to compensate. If I don't make a video yesterday, I have to make a video today. And it's uh, like two videos today. And I'm gonna do that tomorrow as well. Cause I am just, I have no work. I was like, why not? Now, uh, without all that, uh, actually I just wanna say something. Uh, Cinder, uh, basically in his video, uh, t basically said, uh, that he gets death threats. Now, the thing is, the, the message he sent me is a message from an account, which doesn't have a profile picture, and, you know, it's just, it looks so fabricated, and it looks like Cinder just made a new account, and went straight up just message himself, so he can try to make me feel bad. And I'm not deleting the video, by the way. But without further ado, let's get straight into the what if. Now, we basically resume the next day uh, when Naruto uh, wakes up around 9 a.m. Basically, the same time he told his teammates to meet up with him. Now, Naruto would head over to uh, the, t the, um, the training ground. And he would see Sasuke, Menma, and Sakura. So I said, ah, good job, guys. You made it on time. You guys ready to train? They would then kind of like nod. Or I could say, yeah, sensei. Or, uh, yeah, Naruto sensei. Uh, after this, Naruto would say, good. Naruto would then make th two other clones. And or like sh they're like, sh they're actually shadow. Not like shadow, shadow clones. But like, he makes them from his shadow. And he says these these um these clones will be teaching you each, so I can actually give you my individual attention. So basically, the clone that goes with Sakura will basically teach her uh, healing jutsus, um, just like their regiments, starting healing jutsu and using basically getting uh, teaching Sakura what she learned in the three year time skip in canon. Uh, for Menma, he'd be learning uh, techniques like the Rasengan. And the, and the shadow clone jutsu so he can learn how to improvise and use techniques but he'll also be learning some elemental jutsu soon so he can use the change in manipulation and then he can form the rasen shuriken now the other naruto like the one that isn't a clone would teach uh sasuke uh basically like chidori or not a, he doesn't know how to do chi if he wanted to he can easily do it but he just doesn't want to so he teaches um uh, Sasuke Dishitori with some permission from uh, Kakashi and you know um, and also since uh, Naruto has like a brotherly bond with Itachi and you know he wants to take care of his brother that's his responsibility he he feels heavy not uh, he feels the heavy well, weight of responsibility to take care of Sasuke so he's going to take care of Sasuke now they would spend maybe the next month uh, just straight up training their butts off. Uh, they're just training a lot. Now, uh, in this timeline, uh, Sasuke would get a lot of emotional development. Like, he wouldn't be so emo, and he would not be so dead set on revenge, but he would still go for some revenge. Uh, with Naruto's wisdom of Kiraku, since he is his reincarnation, he would be able to... Uh, let get a little few not talk no jutsu, but like at least give him some life lessons, and maybe give you know try to, uh, um, just try to give Sasuke his own perspective, portraying his own perspective and his life of war, not war but like something similar to war. Now, Naruto would also try to teach Sakura that she should try to be independent and not really be focused 
on Sasuke too much being, you know, like the strong Kunoichi she is. And um, he tells her that um, one day he's going to, like, um, not one day, but, like, uh, he has a surprise for, you know, uh, like someone who literally knows the techniques and could teach you better. Naruto, well, I mean, not Sakura would be confused by this, but she wouldn't really say anything. And for Menma, uh, Nar uh, Naruto would pretty much, tr you know, train them with the wrestling gun, shadow clones, and a little winjutsu, a few winjutsus, which is honestly just fine. After literally all he had to do is, uh, he had to unseal the Krama seal a little bit. But yeah, and speaking of Krama, we're gonna flash back to around two weeks into their training where uh, Menma actually almost went rage mode. So Menma was like really trying hard and he really needed a chakra. So he was almost out of chakra and he had to perform the Rasengan. Like he had to use all the Shadow Clone to perform the Rasengan. If you guys don't know, when Naruto was doing the Rasen Shuriken training, he I had to use the Krama's chakra to make the Shadow Clones. So in this timeline, something like that similar would happen. He'd start to get the one tails and two tails. And Naruto would be like, oh, man, damn QB always trying to take over. Naruto would raise his finger up and do Bakudo number 61, Rikujo Kodo. After this, six bars of light would pretty much stab right into Naruto. Not stab into him, but like uh, their lights, so they wouldn't really hear him too much. They would then immobilize him, and Naruto uh, would use Bakudo number Bakudo number 99, Kin, part 1. After this, a bunch of ropes would pretty, pretty much tether down Naruto uh, into uh, to the ground. Naruto, Menma, my bad. I keep getting that mixed up. Naruto would then say, you finished, QB? After, after, no, Q would just get more powerful. Naruto would say, I'm sick of you. He would then, um, you know, he would say that in like a cheerful voice. But, you know, we know, like, it wasn't cheerful at all. Naruto would then jump into his mindscape, which he can do. There's, like, many keto or even chakra techniques, which he can do that. He would then restart, got the Nine Tails. And he would, uh, uh, the Nine Tails would, like, try to influence, uh, Naruto. But, uh, Naruto, I mean, not Naruto. Yeah, Naruto and Benba. And Naruto would just use Bakuro at number 81, Danku. Then he would raise his finger into the air and start to ch channel his Ryatsu. And he would start to really charge up. He says he would say all the incantations for Hado number 90 for using Hado number 90. Kuro Hitsugi. After this, a huge black cube would surround the QB before it would basically um, like penetrate him from all other ways. And don't think it like that, bro. You're just kind of horny. After this, Naruto would pretty much knock out the Nine Tails and pretty much rebuild the seal so it can be a little stronger than canon. When Naruto would rebuild the seal, which would take around a few minutes, he would then hop out of the mindscape and uh, Nar uh, Menma wouldn't have any trouble training for the next few days. Naruto would be looking at his team's progress and he'd be impressed. Uh, he'd be impressed a lot. Like, he thinks, you know, they can go on missions now and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. And this would be the end of section number one. Now, we're back with section number two for what if Naruto was Kiraku's reincarnation. Now, since I'm not really using a script, I'm really just trying my best here. So, be patient with me, guys. Uh, back to the what if. Naruto would finish training them for the next month and they'd really been growing up. They'd be around, they'd, they've grown around four inches, four or five inches, and they just look more lean and have more muscle on them. So they could definitely be stronger. They're strong. They're, they are strong. Now, Naruto would basically um, tell them that they're actually going on a mission soon and that it's kind of like a secret. So he tells them that they should meet him up around tomorrow. They would then say, hi, sensei. Like, yes, sensei. Like, hi. Uh, which means like yes or acknowledgement and they would then uh, disappear via body flicker which naruto definitely would have taught him naruto would then uh, use the body uh, flicker before heading over to the like the ambu or not the ambu but see he's still head captain uh he would basically head over to his quarters and on his way there um 
it would see none other than Onko Midarashi. I think I got that right. Uh, uh, Naruto say, yo, Onko. Uh, I could be like, oh, hey, hey, Naruto. Um, and um, Naruto says, um, you, you up for sake? You know, you up for sake? Since Naruto has definitely grown the fetish, not the fetish, um, the liking towards Sasuke. Sake. Not Sasuke. Jeez, bro. The sake, like the alcohol drink. Uh, after this, um, Anko pretty much having a stressful day would pretty much go with him. After this, they'd pretty much head over to the bar. and They'd spend the night with their friends, like Kakashi and all the Yambu members. And they'd basically have a good night out. Now, uh, after that, they would basically finish up. Like, not finish up, but they'd be chilling. Kind of like uh, me and Rogue. Nah, just kidding. Uh, but like me and Rogue's boys. Rogue, Rogue's, like me and Rogue, Rogue's um, members. Like, we, we'd be chilling. Like the admins, obviously. But back to the what if. Uh, uh, next day, Naruto would wake up and he'd look around and uh, he'd rub his head and be like, ha, oh, I got a, got a weird headache. Uh, and um, he would pretty much get up and get on his white kimono, like the one in the thumbnail. And he is the head captain, so it says number one. Then he would put on the pink kimono, which he actually got from his sister-in-law before she was executed. Now I know I'm kind of like copying Kiraku's past from the manga, but you know, you know, be patient with me, please. Uh, Naruto would head out before saying before waking up Anko and using one of the keto to like uh, one secret or kaido that's like healing keto to um, get rid of the, um, the drunk drunken drunk state. Anko. Uh, would uh pretty much thank him thank him yeah that's right uh before um uh giving like a friendly hug before naruto would have to leave naruto says i wish i could take a nap but it's time for a mission naruto would head over to the uh hokage's tower before uh walking in after knocking after this, he would see his team basically uh, on it. He would see the, his team on the way there, so that he'd take them along uh, there. He would knock on a door in, uh, the door would open, and he, uh, he would see Hiruzen. He says, Yo, Yamaji. Nah, just kidding. But he says, Yo, uh, old man, uh, what's up? Uh, this time, Iruka wouldn't scold him since, Yo, Naruto Kiraku is literally the head captain of all the Yambu. He's, you know, there's there's definitely some equality between the head captain of all the Umbu and the Hokage. So, Naruto says, ah, Naruto, my boy, I assume you're here for your mission? Uh, Naruto say, yeah, uh, you got the mission, uh, the mission details. He was in wood, basically, hand him, uh, would just, uh, pull out a scroll, Naruto would walk up, uh, and, uh, pick up the scroll before unrolling it. See, hmm. We have to escort a bridge builder to the land of the waves. This will be interesting. Uh, this is a airing mission, right? Uh, he was going to say, yeah, it was originally going to be a steering mission, but Tazana, I could see Tazana like lying uh, through his teeth, and I decided to question him, and he told me that it was actually, in, like, uh, uh, he told me all about the mission details and realized that it was actually airing an airing mission. And since he didn't have the money, I decided I'd, I'd use some of the Saratobi funds to... Uh, to cover the mission fun for you guys. Uh, um, Naruto would basically, oh, <laughs> oh uh, oy, man, oh, hey, oy, old man. Uh, didn't know you had, uh, didn't know you'd do that for somebody. But hey, uh, it's not too much of a surprise. It is your personality. Uh, after this, Naruto would uh, basically tell his team that to meet them by the rendezvous in about an hour. They would say, you know, they would say, yes, sensei. And after this, um, Tazuna would walk in. Tazuna would play, basically see Naruto and say, ha, ah, you know, are you the sensei? And he would say in a drunken matter tone. Uh, Naruto would say, yeah. Uh, Tazuna would say, you look weak. <laughs> Naruto would say, <laughs> uh, that's, that's very false. Naruto would then use Ryatsu on Tazuna, just the slightest bit, the, the, the tiniest adamant of uh, spiritual pressure. 
uh, Atasana would start to like really shake and he would start to sober up real fast. He would look at Naruto and say, what are you? Ata Naruto would say, I don't know myself. Naruto would then proceed to walk out and pretty much get ready before um, being uh, like on his way out um, the Hanbu headquarters or his, his quarters. He would actually be um, uh, like formally uh, uh, greeted by Anko. If you know, you know. Uh, and uh, he would leave after that. Naruto would pretty much uh, head over to the village gates via flash step. And uh, he would meet up with his team say, Yo, are you guys ready to go? Uh, uh, after this, Team 7 would basically say, Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, uh, team 7 would start to um, head out the, uh, the village. And Team then Naruto would say, Yo, guys, so uh, how did the one month training feel? You know, Do you feel better or something like that? Do you like have new goals, likes and dislikes? They would then start off with Sakura saying, "Yeah, I kind of want to be like, um, kind of want to be like a healing shinobi, but I still want to stay in the combat area. It's kind of like a, a hybrid between healing and combat." Naruto would say, "Yeah, I can definitely respect that. It's like it's kind of better than your original goal of simping. I mean, <coughs> uh, being uh, uh, an interesting housewife. I mean." Uh, Basically, after this, uh, Sakura would say "baka" and basically smack the back of his head. Uh, since Naruto does not give up, Naruto is like uh, Yamamoto, and you know Nana always slapped him, so it didn't really matter. Like, oh come on, Sakura! I was just kidding. <laughs> uh, after this, uh, Sakura would, like um, pretty much calm down, and uh, and Sasuke and Naruto would get serious and say, "Sasuke, do you still want to kill Itachi?" Uh, there'd be a tense uh, pressure in the air, and Sasuke would say, look at him in the eyes and say, yeah, I do. What's it to you? Naruto would say, you do know that if you, if you, uh, if you go to kill Itachi, I'm gonna be the one to stop you. Since Itachi was my teammate, so it's actually my responsibility to stop him. Uh, Sasuke would say, whatever. I'm still gonna kill him. I don't care if you're in my way. Naruto, um, Naruto would then basically see get the cold soldier by Sasuke, and Naruto looked towards Menma and says, "Do you still want to be the Hokage, right?" Uh, Menma would be like, "Yeah, I kind of want to be the Hokage." Uh, Naruto would pat his head before saying, <laughs> "Maybe you'll be Hokage after me, since I assume that old man's not gonna last long." But he would say the old, like part about the old man in his head. Man would be like, you actually believe in me? Naruto would be like, yeah, of course I believe in you. You know, you are my student. Uh, I have to. It's like a rule. Uh, Naruto would then feel a presence in the uh, in the uh, puddle. And he realized it's summer. You know, it should be sunny. There should be no puddles there. Naruto would then uh, say, talk, talk to Man, let's see. Um, you should use that technique we, I told you, I taught you about. I'll try that on that puddle. He would whisper to him. Uh, Menma would say, uh, go through the incantations of Hado number 63 before using Hado number 63. Raikoho. After this, a huge uh, yellow lightning ball would pretty much escape from his hands, going right at the puddle, and you would hear groans and gasps, and, and uh, you would hear basically the sound of lightning affecting water. And after this, the puddle would pretty much pop, poof, and there was the two now unconscious, unconscious demon brothers. Naruto would then pat uh, Menma's head, and he would say, "Good job." Um, he would then walk over to the demon brothers before uh, grabbing their heads and using a uh, memory invasion keto to basically invade their minds, getting all the inf information they need. Naruto would then. Uh, use Hado number four Byakurai through their hearts, basically killing them nice and fast. Uh, Naruto would be a little saddened, but he realized in a war, there's no um, good side. Both enemies are evil. Uh, he would then say that in his head. He would then get up and uh, walk away from, I don't know, waving to his team to follow along. Uh, Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, and Menma would uh, basically team seven would walk towards the land of the waves. 
the the mist would start to roll around and Naruto would start to feel the presence, but it was a little blurry. Uh, Naruto would basically say, Who are you? You can come out now. A blade would pretty much start to fly through them, and Naruto would quickly bring up his uh, bring up his hand to Hado uh, Bakudo number 81, Danku. After this, an invisible barrier would uh, appear um, uh, between Naruto and the blade, and it would basically, the blade would... Uh, like stop right at it, it like the blade would shatter when meeting at the uh, down coup uh when this would happen the blade would pretty much like uh like go through the sides of the barrier and uh it would land in a tree uh zabuza would then land on the uh not on the handle part but the other part the more sharper side or the handle part actually that it wouldn't be safe if you landed on the sharper side uh so he would land on more the broader side uh, Naruto would pretty much uh, see none other than Zabaza Momochi, and he'd be pretty surprised. You know, what is this guy doing here? Is it, wasn't he like a rogue who uh, who tried to assassinate the fourth Mizukage? He wouldn't really say. Uh, he wouldn't really uh, like um, question anything. Uh, uh, Zabaza would pretty much say, "Ah, Naruto Kiraku, I heard stories about you." Being head of the Ambu, <laughs> that's interesting. I'd get a lot of money if I had if I brought you if I brought the bounty collectors your head. <laughs> After this, Naruto would shake his head. <laughs> you Zabuza Mamochi, <laughs> that's that's a that's a good joke. Like that is pretty funny. Uh, Zabuza would be like, "That's not a joke. I'm gonna kill you." He would then charge towards Naruto, and they'd come to a clash, sword and sword. And uh, after Zabuza pretty much pulled out a second version of the ex Executioner Blade, and Naruto put out his uh, one sword. And basically, Zabuza would say, aren't you going to pull out both of your swords? Naruto would say, I don't need to. Zabuza would pretty much slide back after a clash uh, with swords, and he'd say, don't, oh, I guess I have to use this. Naruto would, um, Zabuza would then infuse chakra into his blade before releasing a beam of light towards, uh, Naruto. Naruto would then grab it with his hand, looking to, uh, then he would, like, pretty much deflect, deflect it to the right. And he'd say, ah, that was pretty strong. Not strong enough for me. Uh, he's like, you should probably give up. If he then pull out two cups of sake, two cups and, uh, bottle of sake, say, let's sit down. Let's drink some sake. Zabuza would, would say, why are you underestimating me? Naruto would say, come, let's drink some sake. I don't really want to fight you. After this, Zabuza would get angry and pretty much uh, charge at Naruto. Naruto would say, Bakana, before uh, flash stepping behind him and unsheathing his blades and sheathing them really quick. He would then, uh, uh, two cuts would open on Zabuza's chest. And uh, Naruto would say, I purposely missed your vital organs. I really don't want to fight you, Zabuza Momochi. After this, Haku would pretty much throw the sampling into his neck, and uh, Haku would pretty much come down, or a masked man would come down. Naruto would look towards him and say, Ah, track manager? Uh, Haku would say, Yeah, um, I've been tasked to hunt down Zabuza Momochi. Uh, and, you know, and then he would quickly pick up Zabuza before retreating. After this, Naruto would say, Yo, Tazuna, uh, you mind if we stay at your house? I think these people will be back for more. Uh, Tazuna would be like, It's my pleasure. He would then bring them to their, bring them to his house, and before they would pretty much, Naruto would pretty much go take a long nap. And this will be the, this will pretty much be the end of part two of What If Naruto Was Kiraku's Reincarnation. Now, uh, part three will probably be coming out tomorrow. And also, Part three of, well, actually, part four of what if Naruto had the Obi Obi Nomi, or what if Naruto was lost reincarnation, will also come out tomorrow. But without further ado, peace out, guys.